Well, hello, Gemini, and welcome to your horoscope. So, Mercury retrograde, naturally, it's a big deal for you. So, Mercury's slowing down in your fifth house. That's a house of children. And that's kind of an educational house, too, especially for teachers in particular. It could symbolize your relationship to your father. There's a lot of ways we can go here in the fifth house. It's not bad for travel. Um, it's fairly, it may not be as lucky as a ninth, but it's pretty close. It's... It's a good time, and I think the best thing about it is it's where we get to matters of the heart. It's where we express things that we feel. And so there's a lot to go over about your own creative process, about your own children, about the way you want to express matters of the heart. And so that gets amplified during this time of year. North Node's still there, so you're hungry to show the world that, yeah, I can do something creative, I can do something good, <laughs> I can make my mark, and, you know, I'm, you've probably already done this in some way already, but it's important to know that um, there might be a restlessness, a wanting to move with Mars in transiting your fourth house right now in Virgo, and um, Venus is going to be there soon, too. So, you know, there, there's an element of <clears throat> wanting to be with your tribe, wanting to be in your comfort zones. 